Hello again, everyone. This is Age of Dune, and we are back on the single-player server, where we have been uh, AFK for a little while. Or, not really AFK, but away from videos for a while. And I decided that I wanted to go ahead and make a wall and entrance and stuff for this. So the entrance is going to be like this. It's going to be lined in stone. Uh, stone bricks, actually. And what I'm wanting is the ability to open and close a gate. So, when it's closed, the gate is going to look like this on both sides. You're going to have, you know, that. It's going to be too high, maybe three high, whatever, it doesn't matter. But, uh, when you open the gate, what I'm wanting, so this to go back, this to go back, this to go out, and then this to come back. That'll go in. This will go out, and it'll reverse. Originally, I, for some reason, thought that when this one was in, if this one went in, it would pull this, and this would pull this. This apparently isn't the case. I think it used to be the case, but uh, it doesn't do that anymore. So now you have to do that, which is really unfortunate. And it completely messed up my whole idea of how I'm going to do this. So, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and work on this underground. I'd originally planned on putting everything underground anyway. So, that's not a problem. I have this counter, or this, uh, not counter, clock. So, I'll be implementing that underground, I guess. I guess underground I'm going to have just a regular counter. Uh, binary counter and each of these is going to be hooked up to a different output from that so that'll be fun I was originally going to show it on on video but uh, in this case the amount of time this is going to take me and everything I don't think that that's going to be the case because I do not remember perfectly counters it's been a long time since my engineering classes, so I think I'm going to do this off camera. Yeah, I am. And I will show you guys the result. It won't matter to you guys, really, because you're about to see it anyway. But uh, for me, definitely matters. This took, I'm sure it's going to take me quite some time, because I highly doubt I'm going to get this done in one night. That is why, well, that is part of the reason why. I went so long without single player videos. Or I'm going so long without single player videos. Whatever. So I shall see you shortly by your time and probably in a while by my time. Alright. Bye. Alright, I am back. Just for a second, I just wanted to show you what I've got done so far. Um, after the last recording, I realized that I was engaging in crazy talk. The uh, design that I had thought up with, you know, needing all these adders and stuff, that's not even close to necessary. Um, night's coming, so I'm going to go back down. I moved my bed in here. So while I'm doing this, you can see part of it, and now I can go to bed. can only sleep at night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As you can see here, I hollowed out a huge space, built a whole bunch of uh, flip-flops, and realized that they're not actually necessary. So, back up to the top. Alright. I realized that that is incredibly difficult and not needed at all, uh, because the, the way you could do it, this one can pull back as long as this one's there. So if this one goes first, uh, goes dark first, this one goes dark second, that'll pull it to here. If this one's still lit, it'll push it back out, which will grab the block of whatever, and then that one can go dark and it'll move it back out. Pushing it out, this one just has to go second. Or, yeah, something like that. But, yeah. As you can see, works quite nicely. Pulls it back in. Yep. There we go. So, now, I just have to wire it up so that whenever one of these uh, 
whenever one of these is on, then this is on. When they toggle off, that'll go dark, it'll pull back, and it can do all of its stuff. So, I'm going to go back down and try to work on that. Apparently I'm going to go down this way because that seems like a good idea at the time. Yes. Alright, so I'll see you shortly. Actually, hold on. I'll just, I'll just show you what I've done. How I wired it up like this. Alright, so... First off, it comes down here. Comes through, you know, this because it's needed. But, uh... It goes immediately into this one, which is the first one up there. It also branches off into this one with a delay of two... I think milliseconds. Whatever it is in Minecraft, I think it's milliseconds. And then that'll turn this one off that amount of time later. This then feeds out and around through here for another delay of three milliseconds or whatever. And then that feeds into the middle one, so it cuts off second. That is a clock I was working on for no reason. Now. I'll pro I might actually end up using it well at the sea. But whatever the case may be, this works. So now I just have to figure out how to wire it up so that these are used or these two are used as inputs. I'm gonna do a uh or this or this and then put that on the delay or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to put it on the delay. Yeah. And then the other one will be on the delay to trigger that. But for right now, there we go. I'll see you shortly with hopefully the finished product. <coughs> Hello again everyone. This is Age of June and I am back. Not that it's really a difference to you guys. Getting myself some pork because that pig was annoying me. Alright, so I wanted to show you the progress I've made so far. I have these here to demonstrate. Alright, so I click it. What? Hold up. Okay, that actually didn't happen before. Which is really annoying, because it was working just fine, and now suddenly it's not? Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Hopefully that was just a uh, temporary fluke. Let's see. Okay, this is actually supposed to be this. Alright, so when I press it, it should suck that back in. Bring it over to here. Really? Okay, this is very frustrating because it was just working. I'm not sure what happened. Ah. Uh. Redstone's so annoying! See, I know I want that there. Okay. So yeah, that's what I want to happen there. So far, so good. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, it does work. I'm not sure what was up with that bug. I, I don't know if it was just a freak lag incident or what. But it is working. Uh, now, for one, I have to clean it up a little. This is going to be outside the wall, so it needs to come up somewhere around... Somewhere else, I'm not sure where. But it needs to come up elsewhere. And uh, then I need to hook here up. I'm going to have it at least too high, maybe three, I'm not sure. We'll see how hard it is to hook up. And then uh, I'm going to pass the same things over to this side. So, as you can see here, up here it's not overly complex. I have to do this. If you notice here, there's that thing feeding in it and this. And it's because without this and the one here, there, it would... Uh, it would pull back, no, 
Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it would pull. It would either pull or push. It would push. While this one was still out, they would actually do it simultaneously, but it would still register as out. So this one would push and get stuck, and it would just stop. And then, so I did this one to do a block update so that it then successfully pushes. Here we go. So that works. Um, now I can show you the nastiness that is downstairs. I'm going to go to sleep first so that my people don't die. The zombies did tear down one or two of the uh, doors while I was doing this over the past few days. So I had to repair those. It didn't look like the zombies were, or the, uh, the villagers were too poor. Too badly affected because they were all still alive from the looks of it. Come on, knight. There we go. Okay. So you can already see it's pretty, pretty complex in here. Alright. So, let's see. Where should we start? It orients. Okay. This is one JK flip-flop. I believe I showed you guys this. This one drives the pistons that go this way. And then this JK flip-flop over here drives the two pistons to the side. These flip-flops are fed by this. This is an OR gate. This is an OR of both buttons. And then if either one goes, this goes. This then feeds into here. The first one gets that and triggers the pulling back. This times it so that it pushes it back out after this has gone through. It's uh, why there's a huge line of these. I had to time it just right. It was not easy, but it's good. And then this one feeds into here to toggle which one of them is out. This is then sent over here. That's one of my ways out, but that's okay. Into this. Both JK flip-flops outputs actually feeds into this. And then uh, I have it so if it's an AND gate. If this is good, this is the uh, one one side, if this is one, so that'll be one of the sides. If this is one and this is one, then it outputs a one and it determines whether or not that particular one goes because I don't really want the uh, stone bricks to stretch across the way or it makes it a completely useless tunnel. So when it toggles, then it changes the output here, which then messes with that. And, uh, yeah. It was a fairly complex circuit. In back here, I think I showed you guys already. Uh, getting back there is not exactly fun. But the, yeah, there we go. Alright, so this is the far back one. It feeds over here with a not gate. And then timer to feed the middle one. So that the middle one lights up after that one. Or dies after that one is the case maybe so it pulls it back middle one shut, shoots it out and then shuts off and then uh, this is feeding one of these sides actually I don't think that is feeding one of the sides anymore let me make sure let's see uh, come to think of it I guess it is yeah I don't remember exactly <laughs> exactly what this one is feeding. It might not actually be feeding anything, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, the output comes from here. But I think it's not necessary. I think it's not actually being used. Because I believe I tore down one of the things. I think it's actually coming up, like, right here. But one of the torches below it is missing. So it's not actually even working. So I could probably tear that out. Yay! So yeah, it works. Um, the walls are going to be... I can actually just expand the walls so this doesn't look bad. I think that's my, what I might do. I'll just make it wider. Because I don't feel like going through the effort of rewiring this. The other hand, I am still going to have to make it so it comes out correctly over here, which is very painful, because it is not easy. And I'm going to have to find a way to make it so that this 
also triggers the one above it. And I'm not altogether certain how I'm going to do that, honestly. So, that's not going to be fun. Not going to be fun at all. Huh. But yeah, I, I do have progress. It is coming along. Uh, as you can see. And maybe sometime soon this video will actually be released and you can see it all. And hopefully it will all be together. I may end up doing the assembly of some of the wall beforehand. Because it's been a really long time since I put eight, put out a uh, solo Minecraft video. And uh, I don't really want to wait too long because it's not really fair for you guys. So, yeah. I shall see you guys soon. Well, instantaneously for you. Bye. Okay, I am back on my screen. Uh, no different for you. But yeah, here I am. It, uh... The design here has changed a lot, many times. Uh, I realized that there's really no reason to have sticky pistons here on the edges. It, not only that, but it was also making it pretty much impossible. Because the, the timing of it, this one would have to retract, and then this one would have to push, otherwise they'd, they'd mess with each other. And it was terrible, and really frustrating. And today I had an epiphany, why do I need sticky pistons? I don't. I just need these to pulse and push the correct one out. So as you can see here, right now it's that one. Bam! Now it's that. This is actually going to be the wall, like that. And then when you push it again, bam! Now it's that. Now, I have to do this side as well, but that's how much redstone I have now. I'm down to 21 redstone. I started with, I think, five stacks. A lot of it went into these. They look, you know, they, 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 they're quite necessary, but they take a lot of redstone. But, uh, yeah, it, it definitely, th this, this task was very frustrating to me. It is, I, I finally have a working method though which is great and it makes me very happy so now I just have to enclose this side and I'm gonna have to do a lot of farming and stuff for materials let's see one two three four five six seven eight so one two three four five six seven eight I think I might want to add one more. As you can see here, that would interfere with that. But, now it won't. So yeah, the uh, the walls are going to be very thick. There we go. It could just be this section that's thick too. I'm not sure. But for right now, that really doesn't matter anyway, because I'm not doing that. What I am doing is going ahead and making this. It's going to be a nice little tunnel. And then we can see what it actually looks like with the tunnel. I'm not going to make the tunnel on the other side uh, until I've actually fixed the gateway mechanism on that side, which is not going to be for a little while. I think I'm going to just go upload this episode now that I've had success. Spiders, I hear you. Now that I've successfully created this... Um, actually waiting until I've finished with the other side's not really, not really important, I feel. I, I hope you guys agree. But, uh, let's see. Excellent. So, it'll look about like that. What I can do... I can go ahead and tear up the floor here, as it is not well on this side anyway. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure I want to mess with the other side at the moment, just because uh, I'm pretty sure that I will will need it open a couple times. Oh, that's bad. 
Well, not really. I just have to take it one more down. Which is not really a problem. It is annoying. But not a problem. Let's see. All of these have three. There we go. Didn't need to take it all the way back there, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Ah. I have to enclose the roof of this, or parts of the roof. I shouldn't have made it so uh, high, because now every time I do this, I have to I have to make sure the floor is good. Obnoxious. Let's see. That's where I'm going to have it. All right, torch. Sorry. Oh, good. Oh. Okay. This is going to be inside of the wall on the other side, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, hmm. I'm not actually sure how many of these I had. I think I had three left over. I think I had one here. I think so. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make sure that works. Okay. The other way works. Yes! Excellent! Okay, so there's that. Now I can place the floor. Okay, apparently I have to do these two. Not spreading, I guess. Sorry about the massive difference in uh, oh, the, the massive weight there. It uh, this project was one of the more frustrating I've done. I didn't expect it to take me this long, but it, there was a lot of trial and error involved, and I spent a lot of time confused. So it took me a long time to figure out exactly how I was going to do this. And, uh, as you can see, it took a lot of materials and stuff. But, uh, it's done now. So I'm going to upload this episode tonight that actually has me working on it. So you guys will know why it has taken me this long. It's not going to be fully enclosed or anything. The wall is actually going to go all the way around the village. But, yeah. Alright, so I figure I could show you... What has changed? Uh, nothing down here has changed, really. Oh, uh, man. Ugh. Okay. Nothing has changed down here. We still have the two JK flip-flops right here and here. Uh, one is feeding the left and right pistons. And one is feeding the in and out pistons. And back here we've got the ore for the input, the the buttons, and then feeding into this ore as an input for that. So yeah, nothing much has changed in here. The changes that have stressed me out so much were all up here since the last time I talked to you. Uh, before, I'd originally built it like here. This is where I originally built it. And then I realized that that wasn't going to do because there's really no way to turn three things like this, one, two, three, into that. I, I had no way to do two. So I went ahead and moved it over here so I could have inputs going into it. And from there, that was where the fun began. I originally, you know, with just the one, as I showed you a little while ago, it worked. When I had the two, they I could not get the timing down perfectly, so they do all this weird stuff. Usually one side would just leave it there. You'd see, boom, yeah, it was nasty. So, I tried a lot of different things. Originally, I didn't even realize you could just do this and have one input going in there. 
So I would have I had one coming under, one coming over, uh, and then one coming in that way, and one coming in that way, and it, it was crazy. And then I realized that putting it like this, that's actually what this over here is for. This bit right here. This was me testing to see if putting power to this would also power this. Pro tip, it does. So, that simplified my circuit sum right there. So I only had to feed the top. So that applied for this, this, and both of those. This one still needs, uh, let's see, is it that one? No. That one still needed other because there's no way to get it on the sides because of these two. So I had to go under and over for that one. That's that's what this chaos is for. That's part right there. Um, so th that simplified it some. So I had that there. I had one coming under and still one coming under over. But I didn't have two input, one input into both of these. That still didn't quite solve the problem of the timing issue so I did a lot of messing with that changing you know these a lot getting intensely frustrated and finally I realized that that was just crazy talk so uh, earlier today I was thinking about it and I realized that there's no reason for the sticky pistons all I really needed was these pistons to push it in and push it that way because they're able to push two, so this one's able to push both that and the iron, and it pushes the iron here, and then the stone gets pushed out, and vice versa. So I went ahead and rerouted it so that the input actually comes up now, the, the button press, it comes up and acts as a trigger. It feeds into AND gates. There's this AND gate here. This takes in the input of that, which is the JK flip-flop, the output of the JK flip-flop, feeds in as an input to this AND gate, as well as the clock here, so that while this one's active, the clock will tick and hit that and push it out, and then that can push that in. The button only lasts for a little while, so it pushes it out. It can come back whenever because it's not sticky pistoned, and then that can push it out whenever as well. So this one doesn't have to be extended while that one's extended, which is great. And then I took the clock as well, as well the and the input stayed there. The the uh, output of the JK flip flop went into here, and here's another AND gate. It takes in the clock again, and the knotted input or output of the JK flip flop as input. So this AND gate then feeds this which comes on over here and feeds into this one which does both of those um, I had problems somewhere around here I had it not far enough out and those interfered somehow I'm not sure what went on there but that's why this little block here is there because whatever was the deal with that was causing me problems but yeah that is the circuit it is actually less complex now than it was mm, about 3 o'clock today. It is now 8, 8 p.m. At 3 o'clock, it was a whole lot more complex than this with stuff going everywhere. And uh, I don't think I would have had enough redstone to finish had I had to do that. Because it was, it was ridiculously chaotic, and it didn't work. So now, now it does. Which is great. I actually have a working method that does exactly what I wanted it to and I think I think it's gonna look pretty good honestly uh, this wall is gonna be pretty high and really thick but it still leaves a ton of space here and really when it goes around I can if I decide to expand the village I can always just change the wall in the other spots there's only gonna be one entrance and exit because I really don't feel like doing this all over again on another area because this this stuff made me crazy. I mean, I, I know how now, at least. So if I do have to replicate it, it won't be as hard. But it's still not exactly the easiest thing in the world, but with all these JK flip-flops and... Uh, the AND gates and all, the, all this wiring. 
It's just crazy. Successful, but crazy. I, I am glad that I have fixed... I have figured out how to do it. So yeah. Here we go. I think it looks pretty good. So, I'm going to go ahead and enclose this side. Now that I can. At least to some extent. I may not close it all the way, but we'll see. I, I have more materials at the house. I'm definitely going to be needing a lot. I don't think I have enough. We'll have to see. Uh, one thing I do know is that I do not have nearly enough redstone. Really? Uh, darn it. I'm not even sure that it needs to be this thick all the way around. This could be sort of like a guardhouse thing. Um, from the outside, it would look like a guardhouse. It's really thick here, and then it goes back down to being like three or four thick on the other areas. So this just looks like a heavily protected tower or something. I kind of like that idea, and that is somewhat what I was intending to do to begin with. So that's probably what it's going to be, which will massively lessen the number of materials I need for the wall itself. Redstone, of course, is not going to change. But the wall itself will not need nearly as many materials, and it lo won't look quite as weird, because I don't know. It just seems kind of pointless to have a... what what was it? It's like 22 thick total. Uh, wall. That's that's overkill. Yeah, as you can see, I had like five stacks of redstone there. I am now down to twenty redstone. Four repeaters, one torch, and then my sticky pistons and two buttons. I actually probably do need these so I can finish up the input there. Uh, in the meantime, also need a ton of these. As many as I can get at the moment. Alright, I don't need this. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I have tons, and I have a bow, infinity bow, so I'm not all that worried about arrows at the moment. So yeah, that's that's why I have not had any updates in so long for the solo. It's just, every time I did this, I, I would just get so frustrated because it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work. And I'd end up quitting and going elsewhere for a little while to cool off because it was just so annoying. But uh, now I've got it figured out so it's not nearly as bad. Which is great. Makes me feel a lot better that I have a working method. It really is. It, it is it's a very nice feeling to know that it, it's finally successfully completed. Alright. see. The middle's here. So I'll probably do like this. Maybe have a three thick wall the rest of the way. And then... I'm not sure if it's going to be end up being higher than this or not. This actually doesn't look too bad. So we will see. Let's leave that there right now. Okay. Yeah, all this is, uh, the entire purpose of it is to protect my villagers. That is why I am doing this. And this is a lot of work for protecting the villagers, but I think in the end it'll be worth it because it's also going to look really cool. I really like how it's turning out so far. Just the mental image, at least, because <laughs> it's it's you know not done inside, but the wall, get, getting that that gateway there is awesome, and I, I think that's gonna look really nice. All right, so you there. light it up in here just to make sure I mean, right now it doesn't matter of course but it will later random torches all over the place I don't really want stuff spawning in here I mean it, I guess it doesn't really matter uh, as long as I don't ever have to come back in here but 
With my luck, I'd end up having to come back in here, and there'd be a creeper waiting for me, and he would blow up everything. And I would have to start all over or something. That would... That would kind of be the worst possible thing. <laughs> because that... I don't know. I'd probably give up on this idea for a little while if that happened. I doubt I would, you know, quit forever, but... At least for a little while, I would not be doing it. So let's see. So three, three thick wall. I wonder if it looks good. Again, the height is probably going to be different. I may end up having, like, uh, crenellations. Using stairs and stuff like that. Which I think would be kind of cool. I don't need you there. And also, this kind of gives me an interesting little uh, secret wall to walk through. Like, Ooh, except for there. But, yeah. So, from this side, what does it look like? Pretty interesting. I kind of like that. Shush! It'll... It'll look a whole lot different when that side's complete. But uh, for now, I kind of like how that looks. Looks pretty secure and everything. And yeah. It's going to go out to here. This wall right here is. And this side's good. Now, this, these inputs here, the buttons... Where is this button? Okay, here it is. Let me see. Alright, so this is going to be the side. That's actually going to be the entryway there. Probably have stairs here to get in. And... Let's see. I need this. The button will go here. Hmm. That could doesn't stick out very well. Now I know there's a way to make wooden buttons now. But I actually don't know it. Oh no, that's in the next one. Okay, well. For right now, I guess that'll have to do. Yeah. And now I have to get this across. Nope, nope, nope. Well, yeah, but... Mm, actually, that'll go here. So let's see... Oh, my redstone's in my house. I should not have left that behind. Why aren't you sprinting? Okay. So just so everybody knows, I have now uh, finished with catching up on beef, and I have now begun watching Anderzel, the amusing little Swedish guy. I've kind of enjoyed watching him so far. He's pretty funny. Not very far in on it course, but he's been great. Actually, while I'm here, might as well make those stairs, huh? For some reason my mouse feels very laggy at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, that should be enough stairs. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the seeds. I have enough seeds. Alright, I only have two buttons, right? Yep, yep. Okay. I'll probably replace it with wooden buttons once they come out, if they haven't already. I, I, I don't think they have, but if they have, then I'll, I'll look after I get done tonight and uh, look for the recipe there. And if they have come out, then I will go ahead and create some and put them up here, because they're very sneaky at the moment. But there. That there. Okay. 
And of course, it's getting to be nighttime. Sweet. Let me see. Okay. Now, does this have the power to reach? Yes. Okay, good. Now, I go down here and go to sleep. Don't want the villagers dying. That would be sad. Very sad indeed. And now I can go back up and put the button on this side too. Again, it's going to be too thick. So the button's going to go here. No! Okay, well, let's see. There we go. There's that. Give me a nice little wall. Oh, yep, this is the input there. Let's see. I think that one was there because there wasn't enough power. So there's that. You put the button here. That can go there. Boom, 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 boom. Now, that should work. There we go. As you can see, there is an iron bar, where there are iron bars. So what I can do is over here and close this. Give it that nice little uh, look there that I want. So this side will be complete. There we go. The left side is complete. Ah, torches. I'll put it every every two. One, two, there. So yeah, th well, that one doesn't need it. But from there on, one, two, boom. Every other. That one gets one on either side. There we go. There. I kind of like that. That'll look quite nice. So yeah. So you're walking down. Be, oh, okay. And then, uh... It's like, oh, need it in. go. Granted, you, you could actually make it through before it actually even happens. Push the button. No problem. But, you know, this is more of a just for the show and for the awesomeness than it is for actual functionality. I know, I know, this is crazy for me, but this happens sometimes, you know? Sometimes you just you want stuff to work. Oh, I can't put that there. This is where the wall is going to be. Alright, no problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. We gather that. That. Now. How do I have that working? Oh, I don't. Sweet. Let me replace this too. Which is cool, because that actually means one less redstone is needed. So, for my dwindling redstone stocks, that's pretty important. Oops. Yeah, that. Okay. There's that side. And there's that side. Nice. Very nice. I like it. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So now that you guys have seen what this is going to look like, I will be ending it here. I don't really... Uh, in the 
I'd say probably the next episode you'll see it actually completed. And hopefully you will like it as much as I am starting to. And then we could all be happy together as this this terrifying daunting task of doom is behind us. Oops. I don't want a button there. I want this there. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry it took me so very long to put this out. But I, I hope this is worth it for you. Hopefully this uh, gave at least some of you some ideas as to how to do it. I probably could have gotten ideas from YouTube had I looked, but I didn't. But, hopefully, if you're in need of ideas, this will give you some. And that you don't have to go through what I went through to put this together. Because it was a pain. And, hopefully you don't have to go through that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.